Welcome back, YouTube family. Before I begin this new story, remember to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe to my channel to view relevant content. Latest news, Kanye West, rapper, fashion designer, mogul, has agreed to acquire another business venture. He will invest millions of dollars in a type of business that most of us utilize throughout the day named Parlor. For those of you who are wondering, what is Parlor? Parlor is a right-winged social media platform that is uncancelable. It is created to support any and everyone who desires to exercise free speech. You know that every few weeks, Kanye West will spew something radical, a principle or thought that may seem extreme to others on various platforms. He actively advocates for social changes, political assertiveness, and unique concepts in particular ways which tend to be on the other side of the coin right. and totally contrary to the masses. You're probably wondering what incident sparked Kanye's interest in this business venture. Well, he was given the boot by Instagram and Twitter a few days ago, meaning he was locked out of both accounts for anti-Semitic posts. According to online reports, Candace Owens' husband, George Farmer, owns Parlor. Formerly named Parliament Technologies. Formerly, the CEO, George Farmer, confirmed Ye's agreement to acquire Parler, stating the conservative app needs Ye in many ways. Now Kanye can say anything that he yearns to express without being shut down or limited in his speech. Parler is entirely more of a conservative platform in comparison to Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and numerous others out there. Currently, we can do so many things on social media. To name a few, as you know, we can like other influencers, share influencers' creations, create our own podcasts, ask for likes, subscriptions, and do the same for others. We can connect with individuals within the industry, your industry, and more. Through online research, I've learned that Parler is similar to Twitter. Anyone can form a post, follow, and interact with other users too. There isn't a ton of content limitations or moderations. Also, the amount of people who utilize Parler are significantly lower than all of the social media platforms I mentioned. I'm interested to learn if Parler will incorporate additional and more tech savvy features. Parler is definitely a competitor to Facebook created in 2004 by founders Mark Zuckerberg, Berg, Andrew McCollum, Eduardo Saverin, Dustin Markovitz, and Chris Hughes, and Twitter, created in March 2006 by founders Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, Noah Glass, and Biz Stone.
What are your thoughts about Kanye West making another spontaneous overture? Will the public trust his platform with their personal information and free speech? Hmm. Finally, leave your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Remember to hit the notification button, like, and subscribe. To my channel. Thanks a million and be safe everyone.